on Panda's front end and needs to be wider. Stay tuned. All right, so we got four of these. Um, what is this, though? What about fender flares? Now, I've talked about the XB going wide body before, and I think this is the best way possible. Now, there was a kit that was made back in 2008 or 2009 uh, for the Gen 2 XB, not for the 2.5. Um, that kit runs for about a thousand dollars used and they're really hard to find um, Now we've seen the fender flares the little, little, little tiny ones, uh, but this is a Three and a half inch wide. This is a like an ABS plastic So it's flexible. It's gonna be durable. I'm not gonna worry about this cracking or anything like that um, And it does have the little divots here to drill out and we're gonna be riveting this or with riv nuts to the body now, as you recall, the front fenders are trashed. So, we got two new fenders. Okay, so I moved the camera up. Here is our OEM style replacement fender. Uh, picked this up on eBay, about a hundred bucks. And then here is the over fender. Now, obviously this is not gonna be the same uh, curvature. Uh, that's just the way things are. So, we're gonna end up mounting this. Right around here is what I'm thinking. Now, some of this is gonna have to be cut on uh, the far side here, and then also on the front here because of the bumper. Now, my thought process is, we'll probably end up chopping this at an angle on both sides. Uh, that way it's uh, still symmetrical and kinda comes around and is even. Uh, but, that is, we're looking at now I think I'm gonna base it off of either I'm gonna mount it here or we're gonna cut all of this off and mount it a little higher up so it keeps the same clearance on the fender portion as far as like how low the fender is uh, but just have it so it's deeper and again this is never gonna match the factory curvature but we could get pretty close to it it's gonna be off uh, by a tad bit, uh, the circle, well, this here is a tighter curvature than this is. <clears throat> so technically, if this was mounted as proper as we could, it would sit flush here, but it would have the extra hanging off in this side, which could work. Uh, we would ultimately we would cut it right here and then mount this portion just to the front of the bumper, or the bottom of the bumper. But this side, it's not gonna quite line up with the same curvature, so it's gonna be pushed in a little bit. So we're gonna have to either cut this off at a flat angle or at a straight edge here, and that way it still looks uniform and looks good, or we're gonna have to do something where we can push this out more and so make this work. So we might cut it in the middle, expand it, and then make it work. I don't know, we'll figure this out. Yes, yeah, so we have four flares and we have two brand new fenders. Uh, the only thing I need to do is either repair the front bumper because the two mounting tabs that are to the inside of the headlight that mount to the top portion, those tabs are broken. Uh, the bumper is already pretty badly damaged, so I'm honestly just gonna replace it with another uh, ABS one. They're selling on eBay for about 125 bucks for a, just a bare bumper itself. Uh, then we get it paint mashed, and then if we put this on, then we can, you know, put that on there and just kind of make the whole thing work. Ultimately, by going to this, we're adding three and a half inches to the fender width, um, or if we move this further up, uh, and we can still use that three and a half inches, but instead of it being three and a half inches from here, it'd be three and a half inches from down here. So it may not be as big, uh, but either way, we're looking at going at a wider wheel. I want to avoid spacers if possible. Uh, and I also do like the fender flare to sit here versus further up. Uh, so it just kind of depends on what we end up doing. Now, if we mount the fender lower here, uh, it is going to make the wheel look like it's tuck, uh, tucked further in, which is fine. Um, but I don't know how it's gonna look. And we won't know until we mount the new fenders 
and we go ahead and mess with the tape, or we'll just like tape these on, uh, just to get an idea where it would look best at, and then from there we can go ahead and cut it uh, and you know make it work. Also, the transmission is in. Uh, the car runs and drives. Everything is good to go. Uh, the transmission swap video is not going to be super detailed. It's going to be just kind of brief. Uh, again, there was a lot of hours doing it myself. I didn't have all the right proper tools, so a lot of things was just kind of rigged and uh, made to work. But ultimately, it was it was done. Uh, so once I have everything put together with the filming on that, again, it's going to be a short video. We'll go over the details, talk about the, the issues I ran across, tools you'll need. Uh, I try to give you more of those details. Uh, but that is it for today's video. I'll see you guys around next week. Stay safe and have yourself a great day.